We love Disney. We were pretty excited to finally experience Hong Kong Disneyland. But did it live up to the Disney hype? Oh. Awesome, 10 out of 10. And as usual, since I'm not competing with you, I just have to compete against myself. Things got a little competitive. Hey, hey. But we quickly made up over ice cream cake and so much more. I'm so hungry. It was a day of laughter, childlike joy, <laughs> and perfectly oh. capped off in true Disney fashion. One, two, three. Whoa. Time for another Disney park, Hong Kong Disneyland. Yay! This is our first time going to a place where there's only one park. Oh yeah! We've been to Paris, we've been to Anaheim. And those all have two parks each. I love Disney. I'm honestly exhausted. Today is the last day of our six week trip where we went to seven countries. I am so tired, but it's Disney, so it's okay. <laughs> Who cares if you're tired? It is literally probably the first smile I've seen from her in the two hours, we've, three hours we've been up. We had about a, what, hour and a half ride here on the buses from the burbs of Hong Kong. <laughs> That's where we were staying. Cute. Okay, we booked our tickets ahead of time on Fluke. They were actually a little bit more discounted than buying them online, and the website was way easier to use since it wasn't in Chinese. For Hong Kong, you have to have a reservation before you come. When I booked it, it just automatically did it, but I saw, like, we got an email that said you have to do it, like, yourself manually sometimes, so I just double-checked, and it said we we're confirmed for today. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we are in. We made it by 11.02. That's pretty good. So usually that like floral mural is Mickey, but here it's a bear. And when you go on the app, you see all these characters. We don't know what they are yet, but I'm sure we'll figure it out as the day goes on. Oh my gosh, look at the little duck. Oh, the Donald duck. Okay, there's 494 users in line ahead of me. Wait time, three minutes. I'm trying to get the fast passes because they're on like a time cycle. So when you get one, then your time starts for the next one. And uh, I don't think the wait times are actually terribly bad here because in the days leading up to this, I've just been jumping on throughout the day to check the times. But it's always nice to just like jet through the line too. Whoa, look at the castle. It looks so good. It looks so good. Nailed it. You're a musician. Thank you. All right, we got one. Playhouse in the woods for 12.15. That is the Jungle Cruise. Of course, we're not on the ride, but it is one of my favorite at Disney. Okay, we can buy Premier Access. You can buy it for three attractions for 2.29, eight attractions for 5.29, or eight attractions and two shows for 800. Well, we're gonna hold off on the paid passes for now, because honestly, I really don't think the lines get too bad. Kind of expensive too. Yeah, a little bit expensive. And I don't know that like the return on investment is there. What's it called, Big Grizzly Mountain? Even though we're not waiting in this line because we're literally walking up, if we were, it just makes the time more enjoyable to like be in kind of a cool space that gets you excited for the ride. It's that theme park energy. Go number six. Can we wait for the front? I have there. Thank you. Ah, oh, great. So we're trying to take advantage of the short lines by waiting in a slightly longer line to get the front row, which they've been really accommodating of on the first two rides, which is kind of cool. Also, I have a different hat. I, I'll explain later. Oh, oh, there's a bear. Oh, he's scratching his butt. Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no! <laughs> oh. oh, that was like a little tease. Oh. Oh my god, look at my shirt! Oh yeah! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Is this the whole ride? That was crazy! 
That was nuts. That was amazing. Rarely do roller coasters surprise me at Disneyland. Like actual ride, not animatronics or cool things, but that was awesome. That was maybe the best ride ever. <laughs> That was so cool. I literally thought the ride was over and then it was just like, boom. Yeah. Look at Wanted for blowing up the Geyser Gulch jail. <laughs> That's my mugshot face. <laughs> you, you look like Sirius Black. Yeah, that's what I felt like. <laughs> Nailed it. Thank you. Oh, such nice blue water. Oh, oh, how to feel? Oh, it literally feels so good. It's so hot. Oh, you got your head so wet. No. Honestly, that probably feels so good. Just be mindful of your mic. It is burning up here. It's really nice to have this little water feature here. Oh, mist. It's so humid out. You can't even feel it. No, I think it burns off before it even gets to you. Yeah, this is a fun little spot. It's like just a rest area. I'm gonna try to run through without anyone hitting me. Ah, oh, perfect. Ah, ah. Get him. <laughs> he got you. He did get me. Oh, it said bakery. <laughs> oh, look at this. We should get this. It's so expensive. It is. How much is it? Three nineteen. <gasps> I think we should get this. Oh, I kind of love these. You kind of love everything right now. Look how cute this is. We don't have any like big water glasses like that. I might get that. <laughs> they have cute stuff here. I really came in here because I thought it was a bakery. Look how cute this is. Look, it has the trolls on it. It's like an ugly Christmas sweater. Yeah, but it's not ugly. There's so many like costumes here. Aw, you look so cute. Grogu ears. Stop touching things. For me? No, for me. For you? <laughs> yeah. What? It's like part of the shirt. Oh, that's cool. How much is 169? I have no idea. Oh, it really smells like Starbucks. Okay, you were at the dentist office. What the? All right, we finally got some food. I went to Starbucks. I'm not gonna tell you the cost of this drink because Nate will get mad. I'll put it on the screen. They have a bakery right next door and they literally had so many cute things and I'm so hungry. So I'm so proud of myself that I only ordered two things because I wanted everything. So many, like we're going back there later today to get more stuff because it looked <laughs> awesome. But I had to get the mini roll. I'm pretty sure it's a donut. I don't know though. Maybe a croissant. A croissant? Croissant. <laughs> you literally have like chocolate on your face. It's so cute. <laughs> How's your croissant? It's literally like a bread roll. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so delicious. Mm -hmm. I just want like a big glass of milk with this. I love melty things. Like I like ice cream melted, I love my chocolate, like I'll just let it melt. Mm -hmm. And it's so warm and humid that it just literally melts in your mouth. Are there napkins? No. <laughs> okay, I also got this. I smell something on that. I smell oregano. Mmm. That is good pizza on a bagel. Oh, yeah, nacho cheese in there. It's really delicious. I like nacho cheese in anything. Well, this is the best cheese ever. I like the crispy cheese, the oregano. It really does taste like pizza. Very good. You know me well. This corner cafe looks nice. Man, is it expensive. This $3 sign's on the app, and it's like a three course set. You have to order three courses. It's like 298 per person. Wow, I'm sure it's really good, because there's a lot of people here. Yeah, look at there's a line now. Going to Mystic Manor first, it's a trackless ride, which always are really good rides at Disney parks. But it's pretty thin in here right now. It almost feels like we're at Magic Hour. This is a good sign. Thank you. Hello. Five minute wait. This ride actually didn't even open until 11. It's like half an hour after the park opens. Oh, interesting. This is cool. Thank you. This is so fun, we're like walking 
walking through the hallways of a house. It has like all the artwork on the walls. Hello. Oh. Albert and I have traveled the world in search of rare and precious artifacts. Welcome one and all to Mystic Manor. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. Mystic Manor, trackless ride, awesome, 10 out of 10. Instant uh, fog on the glasses coming out of the air condition to the humid Hong Kong weather here. That was great. I'm so glad we got on that ride so quickly. The blog post I read, she said, this is probably the best ride of all the parks. And it's definitely up there for me. For sure. That was such a good ride. It was so surprising. You couldn't even see some of the stuff that was about to happen, yeah. which was really awesome. They have water refill stations, so we don't have to buy water all day. And, and we very accidentally brought this water today. It was literally just in the back of it. It's not super cold, but it's nice. And it's free. Okay, we'll do these two rides in Tomorrowland that are open. Whoa. Uh, then maybe we'll grab lunch, and then we'll go take some photos, and then we'll do some more rides. Cool. Good. I got it. Got it. The bots are coming in fast, so Leslie's arranging backup. I heard that. It's a shooting game. No way. Yeah. You have to shoot the bots. I'm literally so bad at these games. I am in trouble. Yes, a blaster game. Yeah. You get the shirt and yeah. the weak spot. Okay. okay, got it. Oh yeah. Oh my. Okay, I'm red. Oh, this is good technology. I can actually do this one. I can see it. Oh yeah. Come on. Boom, 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 boom. Alicia, I can feel your nerves right now. Okay, you're killing me. I'm fucking heat. Big comeback here. Whoa. We're, we're unshrinking. Oh, we unshrank. Excuse me. That was awesome. I crushed it. 500,000. You could like legitimately see where you were shooting and when you hit it, it, you knew you hit it. It was just so much easier to like actually hit them. 500,000, that's the highest score I've ever gotten on anything. 300,000 is like all of my other scores at every Disney combined and I was better than those. That was awesome. Second only to Toy Story at California Adventure. That was my favorite like, uh, what would you call it? Like interactive ride? Yeah, favorite interactive ride. Buzz Lightyear? I don't want to talk about the Buzz Ride. I want to talk about the Buzz Ride. I don't want to talk about the Buzz Ride. So the Nothing to tell here. <laughs> I am terrible at it. I can't see where I'm shooting. I never know if I hit anything. Well, I do know if I hit anything because I have like zero points by the end of it. <laughs> but like that, you really could actually like see, understand what was happening. It was great. I loved it. I really want to go again. All right, got to beat our records from last time. I love it. Since I'm not competing with you, I just have to compete against myself. That's so rude. Hey! Hey! You crushed it! Holy crap! <laughs> oh my gosh, this, I don't even understand this feeling. Are you devastated? Yeah, but I did say I wasn't competing with you, so... Good job! Nate won. Wait, say that in the light so we can prove it to you. Nate won by a lot. He crushed it. 620. That's the highest score I've ever seen. I think it's broken. No, I just can't believe how good you did. <laughs> the disappointment on your face is so satisfying. It's just the sun. <laughs> Boom. So pumped about that effort. I was dialed in. My hand legitimately cramped like during it. I was like, I don't think I can press the button anymore. I feel that. Like it was, it's. Yeah. 
every person that came off that ride was like, ah, like holding their arm, even like little kids. 10 minutes, come on. So spoiled. Your parents would love this park. Your mom's gonna be so mad at us. She already is. <laughs> oh, I get so excited when I hear this music. Iron Man, baby. So cool. All this is about Nate. This is so cool. It's like actually being in an expo exposition hall. Hi. Thank you. I love that it's similar ride technology, but a different ride. Stanley. Rest in peace, Stanley. All of us at Stark Industries wish you a pleasant flight. Wow, it is so bright out here. That was awesome. That was really good. So that is basically like a replacement for Star Tours. And we've done Star Tours at what, three parks? And they have different storylines, so it's always interesting and it's always fun. But having the Avengers, like that was just a whole new take on it. I absolutely loved it. And I really enjoyed like the Marvel humor, like Tony Stark just being Tony Stark. Dad, no, dummy. That's great, absolutely amazing. Like the rides here are crushing it so far. Yeah, I think the storylines are like exceptional. Like it actually kind of gets sucked into what the story is and you get surprised by what happens. It's not predictable, which I think is great. A hundred percent, yes. I love it. Let's right. eat. Hungry? Yeah. It's such a weird feeling because it's already almost two, but it like it feels like we just got here. Because we did. But we did. It's just it opened so late. <laughs> wow. This is the longest line in the park. They do have beer. They do? That looks like beer to me. Always try to try like the specials that are special to Disney in particular or Hong Kong. This is the Wasp Secret. It's Sprite soda water, honey boba, and like a kumquat lemon soda syrup. Oh, I love the honey boba. They're like those little jellies that like explode. Oh, really? It's not like the chewy ones, like normal. This is really good. It's so refreshing. It's like nice, because I love Sprite already. So it's nice and refreshing with the Sprite, but it's not too sweet, because it's the kumquat and the lemon, or it's the kumquat and the honey. So it's kind of sour with the sweetness. It's really good. We got the Captain Marvel, and it is a red bun, mainly why we got it. It's a regular beef cheeseburger with mushrooms, pickles, and onions on it. It's pretty good. Honestly, the bread is like not that good. It doesn't really taste like anything. And it's a frozen patty. It's pretty average. We went to Disney. We went to Disney Anaheim way too long ago to really remember the food. Plus then we didn't really buy the food. We just brought our own food. But Disney Paris, the food there was not good. Unfortunately, because it's Paris, it should be great. Tokyo Disneyland, really, really good food. And really inexpensive. Like really inexpensive. It was shocking. Here, food's very expensive, which is what I expect actually from Disney. Um, and I won't judge it based on a burger. We got it because it was a cool color. But I'll be curious to see how the rest of the food here plays out throughout the day. It was definitely more expensive than Tokyo, that is for sure. Yeah, Paris was really expensive too. Paris was expensive and terrible. I love this drink. Me too. The snacks we've had so far are good. Yeah, the snacks have been great. I really like the top almost came up there. I love the honey, honey uh, boba. That's so different than normal boba. All right, let's try this red burger. It's okay. Does the trick. Looks cool. The bread's almost like a little stale, to be honest. Yeah, I think it is. It's stale. They don't sell enough bread burgers here. Our first wait over five minutes. 15 minutes at 2.15 in the afternoon, when just about everybody who's going to go to the park is probably here. Yeah. That's nuts. You want to start a timer? Now, if we remember that, it'll be a miracle. What do we have to do? Whenever we go to get more food, which I'm open to anytime, uh, we gotta go back to that bakery and you gotta see all the stuff because they have such good stuff in there. They have like waffles, and then they have mini waffles, and they have egg tarts with stuff inside, and then they have croissants with like sandwiched with banana and chocolate. And I want another roll. That bread with the chocolate was just so good. Alicia has a problem. 
cold. It's so cold. It's freezing. Are we in space? Ooh. Oh my gosh, we're already here. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is... We're like on the ride already. Last chance to exit. So this line is really short compared to all the other space mountains we've been on. Usually it's like you walk into this huge area, big spaceship up top, and you're like looking down on it, all the cars, and you kind of wind around. This is tiny, which is crazy because that means they don't expect big lines here. But Space Mountain is like one of the most famous rides at any Disney park. What do you think? Hyper Space Mountain. That was so fun. It was so good. I, I just love Space Mountain. Dark ride, roller coaster inside. You don't know what's coming. And it was Star Wars themed. It was fun. I literally get so amped every time I hear the music start. It's just so fun. It was one of the lighter Space Mountains though. Like really dark in the beginning. Yeah. But, like inside I felt like it was lighter. I felt like you could see more of the coaster than usual. Yeah. Uh, which just like adds this different level of panic because it looks yeah. like you're so close to hitting your head. And then I just want to say like the Paris Space Mountain is still my favorite because it starts from like a, like a static position. You're just completely stopped and it just like launches. I think that is the coolest way to start a roller coaster. They're all great, but I love that aspect of it. This yeah. is like the traditional like ramp up and then shoo, sends you into space. Also a lot of fun. Gamora is so cool. She's such a badass. It breaks my heart that she doesn't love Chris Pratt though. Spoiler, if you've been living under a rock for the past five years, I think if a movie's like older than a year old, it's no longer a spoiler. Fair enough. Come on, she was so cute. Yeah, she was adorable. Hi friends, springtime is here, and we'd like to invite you to gather around. <laughs> Really smart place for a stage. I feel like every Disneyland that has a castle, all the Disneylands have a castle. All the castles at all the Disneylands are very different. Not just like in the structure and how they look, but how you like can walk through them or around them. And I feel like they got smarter each time to make it more of like a better photo opportunity for people and less crowding. Yes. Sophie's so excited. It had been a long winter. He and his friends knew that a nice picnic would be the perfect way to welcome spring. So Duffy and Friends is like the main character here, not Mickey Mouse, which is kind of strange. I don't even know what Duffy is. I've never heard of them before. But it is the longest wait is to the character greeting with Duffy and Friends. It's 90 minutes. Nothing else is even really? close. We have a Polaroid camera that we got for Christmas and we've been taking pictures. It's always so hard because I have to ask someone to take pictures for us because I want both of us in the photo. And this guy was so nervous. He's like, oh my God, I only get one chance. So he took it and then his girlfriend was super enamored by the Polaroid. So I took a Polaroid of them and gave it to them. <laughs> they loved it. it. They did, it was really cute. <laughs> okay, more dessert. I was thinking that double ice cream cone. Yeah, that looks good. Let's do it. I was stuck. Uh, can we order this? Yeah, one please. Thank you. Cute. It's a double cone. <gasps> okay, it's melting already. Oh my god. Oh my god. Take this. Hurry. Mmm. Good vanilla. Mmm. Mmm. Super peachy. So good. I love it. <laughs> Such a good job with it. 
chocolate fountain. Hi, can we get a cake, please? It's a carrot cake with cream cheese frosting. And I think these are little like chocolate pieces. But they also had an Olaf ice cream cone that we might get later because it looked so cute. I love carrot cake. This is so good. It's nice and like moist and it's cold because it was in like a refrigerated thing. So the cream cheese frosting really holds together well. And there's raisins in it too. Mmm. So good. It was a good choice. I actually was just watching a video. The guy who does the voice for Olaf went to Disneyland and he was on the train. He got to like do the narration for the railroad thing. So it was like Olaf was doing it. No and he's just like cracking jokes. He's so funny. That's me. I'm the one who sings Let It Go. <laughs> Steve Martin worked at Disney too, I think. He worked at like the one of their magic shops. I'm sure there's like a lot of famous people who have gone through that channel. Okay, we have our playhouse in the woods show right now. On this right here. Okay, thank, thank you guys you. so much. Thank you. I really appreciate that. <laughs> I apparently only booked for one of us. I messed up, but they let us in. They said, don't do it again. I won't. Hi. Never sat on the ground for a show before. Oh. children so badly. <laughs> this is so cute. I feel like going to Disneyland with kids, not that we have any, but it's like the same thing as having Christmas with kids. It's just magical. Like everything is just magical and fun and mysterious. I love it. Oh my gosh. Oh, holy smokes, you're amazing. What do you use? iPad. Oh my gosh. Thank you. I love it. Oh, what a good souvenir. Oh my God. He said I look like Elsa because I have the blonde braid today. So he gave us these postcards that he drew on his iPad and prints them out. And he gave me an Elsa sticker. And then he signed them. I'm dead. His name's Luke and he's very talented. I literally was looking for postcards today too. I'm so glad we got some. Oh, how cute. Oh my gosh, look at this cute bathing suit. I, I need that in my life. Oh, yay! That is literally second, no, third most exciting thing about home right now. So I've noticed, and I think I notice it because it's, well, it's almost six now, but like around five o'clock, Alicia just like lights up. She's a night out. I thought about it a little bit, but I kind of thought about it a little bit. And this day has had like three phases. And this is not just for us. This is like everybody here. Enter the park, total excitement, just like high energy. And then like midday, insane heat. I saw parents falling asleep at their lunch tables. I saw kids passed out in strollers. Everybody just looked a little defeated by the heat. And like now it's nice and cool and everybody's excited. And they've had a ton of sugar throughout the day. And like they're ready to go to close down this park for the next two and a half hours. What happened to him? Oh, oh, look, his buttons already fell. Yeah. Oh my gosh, is this chocolate? No way. Did you eat his arm already? Yeah. Poor guy. <laughs> that used to be Olaf's head. <laughs> What's happening? I'm trying to sip it. Oh my God. Look at her hat. Aw. Ready? One, two, three. Hi, love. You're so cute. Are you having fun at Disney? Did you see Elsa? <laughs> That's probably better. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh my god. I want to come here with children so badly. <laughs> Baby fever. She was so stinking cute. Her little hat with the top. I want one of those. This park is very deceptive in a way because when you look at the map, it looks small. When you get inside, it kind of feels small. And the lines are short, so you just feel like you have all day and that you'll just get on every ride, no problem with a little bit of ease. And to an extent that's true, but here it is, 6.15, and like we're feeling a little bit of pressure to get on some of the rides we wanted to go to all day, especially because sunsets are like 30 minutes. So we're going to Jungle Cruise next because I think that's probably better during the day. It's busier than it was 
earlier, but still only a 10 minute wait. This morning, we literally saw a cruise that had two people on it. I don't think we'll be lucky enough for that. Do you think it's gonna be in English? I don't know, everything else has been like such a mix. Like one character speaks Chinese and the other character speaks English. And they actually integrate sign language a lot here. Like, I think like all of the characters are like, entertainers know it. Cause it was like in the show. In both shows we've seen today. This is actually the great area. Oh, I heard English. Here is the number two fiat animal in the world, the African elephant. And here is the most fiat animal in the world. Wow! He's taking a shower. Oh. It's like he's under the water too long time. Look at his wiki. Oh, 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 we came down to the castle for a sunset. Spectacular. Best time of the day to see the castle. But people are already sitting with picnics and like looks like they're waiting for something. I asked what they were waiting for because I was like, oh, maybe there's a parade that we didn't know about. It's for the fireworks, which is in two hours. <laughs> And people are, there's a lot of people like already sitting. It looks like it's starting in like 30 minutes. It does. So we're probably not going to get a good spot for it because we want to go on more rides. <laughs> but hopefully because everyone's here, no one will be on the rides. Yeah. If we were season pass holders, which I'm sure a fair amount of these are, I would do it. But meh, two hours of your park time for a one day pass, that's hard. I like rides too much. That's just who I am. We can actually walk through the castle. It's very short. Yeah, it is. We yeah. are grabbing a hot dog because that's what a lot of people eat here. And honestly, the food's pretty expensive and not like the most delicious food ever. So it's not really worth that much to us at this moment. Second goal, frozen ride. Third goal, it's a small world. Sound good? Yeah, I mean, we only have an hour and a half left. Wow. Wild. That's also why we're getting a hot dog because it's fast, speedy. I'm hungry. Oh no. Oh no. Sorry. That's okay. Heartbreaking. It's nobody's fault but my own. I just kept wanting to do other things besides eat. I always want to eat. We'll eat later. Thank you. Okay, based on the actual line here, this has to be the most popular ride in the park. Yeah. Because the line has the potential. Was huge. But nobody's in it. Luckily for us. Thank you. Snowman. Come on, I know you do. Elsa's made a magic winter show with summer snow for spending the year and year. Time is free again, please. Oh, now, say it. That's just an unsettling act of truth. Oh, and now they're best friends. Indeed. like a pirates like ride where you're in a little boat and you go around way different different theme different thrills different technology it was so good it and they was. sang the songs i loved it it was awesome okay all of the rides here are on just a totally different level it's like everything has been new and surprising and different whether it's the theme or the actual like attraction like it was just so good i'm so impressed how is this place not busy i don't get that i was thinking about that all day today that i do not understand how this is the least busy park in the entire disney portfolio because i'm not gonna lie it's one of my favorites so far like when i think of disney paris tokyo this is up there as my favorite i, I know that will probably be controversial because i know people love the tokyo parks but this is a fantastic park i did love the tokyo park i i don't know it's like one of those things where 
I can't choose a favorite country because they all have like a different specialty. I can't choose a favorite Disney because they're all just too close to my heart. I love them all. Just look at the reflection. Yeah, that's gorgeous. It looks beautiful lit up. Planned every second of that. Wow, I'm pretty sure that happens every 15 minutes and we've never seen that. It happens at all the parks at Small World. That's pretty crazy. It was awesome. awesome. It was great. Hi, thank you. It's like a little maze. Kids are loving the maze. I am a terrible singer. I know. I think I just realized it. That's so sad for me. <laughs> It's 8.30, it's time for their nighttime spectacular. It's called Momentous. It's music, 3D lights, lasers, and most importantly, my favorite thing, fireworks. We had great weather today, so it is not canceled. And then the park is closed right after, so it's like, watch the show and get out. <laughs> so much so it looked like the castle was literally like transforming. Close. So hungry. <laughs> to eat or not to eat, that's the game we played pretty much all day. There's just too much to do, so we never ate. What a fantastic day. Fantastic day. And a fantastic park. Great park. Thanks, Disneyland Hong Kong. Bye. I love that. What a great last touch. That is so cute. That is such an easy thing for them to do. Hi, Disney. Oh, that's what it feels like to sit down. So I, I, the only thing I wanted to say was kind of to add on to what you said. Like, I'm just so amazed at the range of emotions you can feel at Disney in a day. Yeah. Like total happiness and joy, nostalgia, sadness. I know. And then just like, you know, like you see Up, like, oh my gosh, these are just such heartwarming movies. And then you hear a kid just screaming out the lyrics to the song and you're like, what could ever be wrong in the world? <laughs> like, it was so precious, oh my God. It was the amazing. amount of cute children we saw today was just. So many. It was overwhelming. Great day. Great trip. Nobody will ever know because these videos just keep posting, <laughs> but that's a six week trip. That's like 20 plus videos. Let's just, let's just say about. Good job. Oh, high five. Done. I literally am, I think my legs are gonna fall off. I'm not carrying you. Love you. <laughs>